Hey guys, Henning and Morten from Flip Normals here. And in today's video, we are showing you the top 10 Blender tutorials that we have available on the Flip Normals marketplace. These are of incredibly high quality and we have looked at all of them over the last years and it's a fantastic collection. So let's get into it. All right, to start off with, just want to remind you that we're currently having a 40% sale. This is our summer sale. 40% on everything on the Flip Normals Marketplace, including the products that we're about to show you in this video. So the first one here is going to be the Effective Art of Rigging in Blender by Pierrick. Now this course is, I think, one of the most highly rated courses on Flip Normals. And there's a reason for that. Pierrick is a fantastic teacher and he presents the subject matter of rigging, which at times can be quite dry, I think in a fun and engaging way. There's more than 10 hours of content and it includes everything you need to know in order to get started with rigging. Yeah, Pierre has over seven years of, of actual rigging experience and he really knows how to rig in Blender. Uh, it, this covers really like everything from very simple topics in rigging to way more advanced topics such as doing like FK, IK switches, doing like foot rollings, doing rubber limbs, custom shapes and, and everything you really need. You will start off with learning the general tools and then we'll progress more into projects based learning where you the, the character on screen you'll you'll take him through from start to finish and you'll end up with a full full character rig with, ac with accessories including a face rig i think one of the great things about this course like so many other courses on the flip normals marketplace is that it covers the fundamentals of rigging so really dives deep into thinking about it in a as a rigger not just click this button click this button in order to set up a rig but you develop a true understanding and like a good grasp of why you do the things you do in rigging all right next up we have our own introduction to blender this is a course that uh, we uh, we did when blender 2.8 was coming out and this is this is a course we made in order to really help you learn Blender as fast as possible. We uh, it, it's it's comprised of two parts. The first part is about how do you actually use Blender. We cover all the tools you need, the modeling tools, rendering, some animation. Generally, how do you get up to up up to scratch with Blender? And then the second part, we take you through how to model a lightsaber. It's uh, it's like a medium complexity model up to full on like industry standard topology and everything that entails so it's a course where you go from learning the basics to something more way more advanced and also you will have a really cool project project at the end as well it's kind of the course i wish i had when i first got into blender i switched over well i didn't really say switched i added blender to my i guess software repository of things that i know and I was coming from Maya into Blender. And so we kind of developed this course with that in mind it's because a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people get started with Blender, but there are also a lot of people nowadays that have a main 3D software and they start to look at Blender and see that it's actually a pretty exciting software. So we tried to keep that in mind as well. Next up, we have game environment creation in Blender with Emil Sliegers. By, presented by Victory 3D. So this is a fantastic tutorial that shows you, well, everything you need to know for games inside of Blender. It's, I feel like it's one of those rarities nowadays where you actually have full qualified pipeline production artists that are able to utilize Blender as well as any other 3D software and present to you like the techniques, the know-how that you use in the industry, but all done inside of Blender. And real time. This is not this is not time lapsed in any way. This is all you can follow along in every every single step Emil is taking. It, it's a phenomenal course and it takes you through everything you need to know. It's about like low poly to high poly modeling. It's how do you bake acids and do tileable textures. It's over 24 hours, which is completely nuts. And you're just gonna be going through this step by step. Emil is a, I would say, a pretty accomplished artist by now, having worked on The Division 2, Forza, Forza Horizon as well. And I think the nice thing about having production artists come in and teach these kind of subjects is that they're not afraid to branch out. So not obviously not everything will be done inside of Blender. There's plenty of other things that you would use in a real production. So he also covers 
how to do things in Substance Designer and Painter, as well as Marmoset, Photoshop, and Unreal. So it's really a well-rounded package that I think gets you ready for creating your own very first game environments. And then we have a very exciting retopology series in Blender 2.8. For this one, we, we really aren't using any add-ons. We're sticking directly to, to vanilla Blender with all the tools. And the techniques we're showing here are really industry techniques. These are techniques that we developed while we worked in VFX. Like you can see that the, the screenshots we're looking at, they're, they're pretty rough when you're blocking it out. And that's the way you start retopology. You're starting off with a, with a real technique, which is test, which is you first block out your main loops, and then you, you go closer and closer and closer to the final result. If you understand this technique, then you can retopologize anything, be it for, for high level film or for games, commercials, for your own personal project, whatever it is. After this tutorial, you'll know how to approach any organic retopology. Yeah, one comment we've actually seen for some reason quite a lot is always when we do these kind of tutorials is how do I model the inside of the mouth? Always. <laughs> and <laughs> that was just a, you know, that's just one example of it. But I think with the fundamentals that we teach in this video, you'll be able to sort of approach every kind of subject matter, whether it's a ogre or a human face, the inside of the mouth, whatever it may be, you'll have the knowledge to, to approach that in a correct, methodical, very simple way that slowly builds upon what you've done before. Next up, we have Face Rigging in Blender by Conrad. And I think this is, this is one of those really cool tutorials where it's also presented really nicely. Oftentimes when you do rigging or you watch rigging tutorials, it's with a gray background, no shaders, no textures are in involved in anything. So you don't really get to appreciate the final result. That's being included in this as well as so you have the final scenes you can play around with and see everything that Conrad is doing. It also is uh, shape and key and blend shape based, which means that Conrad will be sculpting everything in ZBrush, sort of like doing all the shapes and everything that you can think of a face will need to do. And then you trigger that in Blender, sort of pulling around different keys and uh, controllers to activate those blend shapes. It's a really powerful technique, and this is used heavily in both film and games today. It's a really valuable skill set, and I would say it's an essential skill set if you're aiming for realism, which this one is. This one isn't better or worse than the Pierrick tutorial. This is, this is different. The two complement each other really well. You can start off with the, the one from Pierrick, where you, you learn all the basics and the fundamentals of rigging, and this focuses exclusively on the facial rigging. Of yeah, I think it's important to note that you shouldn't be a beginner when you try to take this tutorial it does require some know-how but it is an effective tutorial and you're also aside from that you're also going to be focusing on this dynamic wrinkle system just to get an extra bit of realism as well as corrective shapes and corrective shapes is something that you don't necessarily consider when when you're just starting out you just think okay if i do shape a to b if you're doing a smile or something you know you pull this lip corner up it's just gonna do the smile. But there might actually be in between stages where your face will, it won't do like a linear A to B, it'll maybe do like a, like a little curve or something. And for those cases, you need like a corrective shape to fix that in between state. So that's another one of those things that Convert covers in this tutorial. Then we have a steampunk gun tutorial, all um, which is um, based in Blender. This is such a cool one. The end result here is amazing. You'll, you'll learn how to do this gun full start to finish. It starts off using like with the low poly and the high poly in, um, in Blender. Then you'll do like a really nice like detail sculpting pass of this in ZBrush before taking this into, um, into Painter to really do the maps. This is not a series where we do everything in Blender out of the sake of argument. This is more of a professional approach to it, where you know you would never really do everything in one software. You use it, the, the software with, with the different strength, for instance, for sculpting. Blend, uh, Seabridge is phenomenal for painting realistic maps. Painter is phenomenal. So you use the, the best tools available for the job. Then we have Become a Material Guru in Blender by Joachim Thornhill. And I mean, Joachim is such a sweet teacher. You can't you can't help but just fall in love with him the instant you like listen to him speak. It's, I think he's got a very friendly and very approachable way to teaching. It's very inclusive and 
really breaks down the problems or questions that might arise and answers them in a very, I guess, easy to understand way. It's a 12 hour course that takes you through everything you need to know inside of cycles using nodes in order to sort of understand, not just do materials and rendering, but truly understand why you use the nodes you do and how to get realistic and I would say amazing results. It's, it's one of those things that opened my eyes to how powerful Cycles actually was as a render engine. And the things that Joachim teach you here, like you know, we got these awesome refractive caustics and subsurface scattering, anything you can think of with nodes and Cycles in Blender, Joachim, he covers. Rig anything with Rigify is also an awesome tutorial. Rigify is is an add-on which ships with Blender, and a lot of people use this purely for bipeds. It's like an auto rigger. You can load in the default skeleton, you can fit it to a character, and you can start to rigger with that. And, and while that's awesome, one of the really cool things about this series is that it shows you how it can be more modular. Instead of loading in the default skeleton, you can load in components of it so that you can use it to rig like a crazy four-armed person or you can rig a lizard a dragon whatever it might be you can rig with rigify so you can see there are a lot of rigging tutorials here and that's also because blender is a fantastic software for rigging so you know if we were to combine these three tutorials you would be really unstoppable when it comes to rigging anything in blender i think rigify is one of those things that fly under the radar because it's not i mean first of all it's not enabled by default in blender and people probably People probably don't really think about it in the way that I think Toshi is presenting in this tutorial. Like you can see he's he's doing crazy things with the rig because it is a modular rigging system. It's not just a human. There's a troll with two heads, a, a horse with six legs and two tails. There's there's a dog, a cat person. It it I think it shows the versatility of this plugin or this add-on and he sort of takes you through it in a easy to understand way so that i mean you can rig anything after you've you've watched this one thing to keep in mind is that this is a staggered release and he's adding more and more sort of courses to this tutorial so it's going to increase in price over time then we have another learning series for Blender 2.8. There is, there's so much in Blender to learn and there's you can't have one series which covers everything. For instance, you have this series and you have our series. And the two are, they can complement each other quite well. This is this is quite a long series. This is around 21 hours. So this is a bit more project-based and you do a lot more smaller exercises in this one, which is, which is amazing. You will... Um, You'll do a lot of, uh, you'll do a lot more animation as well, and and a lot of rigging in this one. If you were to choose between this one and uh, and the one we did, that's that's really that's really up to you. They're both they're both phenomenal. One is uh, a bit more compressed, which is ours, and this is a bit longer. And finally, we have creating a realistic cabin house for games in Blender. Again, presented by Emil Sligers, this time for Next to the Education. Emil gets around. Uh, he does a little <laughs> bit does. of teaching for everyone. And again, as with Emil's teaching style, it's a long form tutorial, 20 hours for this one, where you go through the creation of this cabin house again for games. So it's, it's similar in the approach of the submarine but it's focused on this time a outside interior, outside exterior, not interior, an outside exterior. And it takes you through the entire process once again, where you focus on a different subject matter. And again, taught by Emil, who is a fantastic teacher. This again goes start to finish using Blender, Substance Designer and Unreal. Really powerful, very relevant real world techniques done, used in the AAA game industry every single day. So I think that just about wraps up that top 10 list of Blender tutorials that we have available. Of course, we have many, many more tutorials for Blender on the Flip Moments Marketplace. These are just 10 that we wanted to highlight for you guys. Feel free to pop over and check out everything we have to offer. I'm sure that if there wasn't anything in this list that you didn't find to your liking, there's going to be plenty of other courses that are going to interest you on our marketplace. The sale is live until uh, the August 2nd at midnight at Denmark time or middle European time. And everything is 40% off until that time. So check out the store and pick up something you like.